breathing and respiration in animals. Let us begin with a basic question, what is the difference between breathing and respiration? Breathing and respiration are two completely different but interrelated body processes which assist body organs to function. Breathing is the physical process of exchanging gases. It could be defined as an action of air or water moving across the surface of a respiratory structure such as gills or lungs to facilitate the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide from the environment for a process, known as respiration. Whereas, respiration is a chemical process which takes place at a cellular level and produces energy. It could be defined as a biochemical process in which the cell of an organism obtains energy from oxygen and glucose and in turn releases ATP, carbon dioxide and water. Respiratory Organs in Organisms, Other Than Humans In this slide we will be discussing the respiratory organs in organisms like arachnids, worms, frogs and fish. Arachnids can breathe via two organs, book lungs and trachea. Arachnids like scorpions breathe via book lungs whereas spiders also breathe through trachea. The book lungs, located inside the arachnid, are made up of several thin membranes, somewhere between 10 and 80, depending on the species. Some have a pair of book lungs, others have several pairs. The book lungs are surrounded by hemolymph, a bluish liquid which is the equivalent to our blood, that carries the oxygen. Some arachnids also have a tracheal respiratory system in which oxygen and carbon dioxide travel primarily through air-filled tubes called trachea. Usually the tracheal system penetrates the cuticle via clusable valves called spiracles and ends near or within the tissues in tiny tubes called tracheoles. The trachea primarily serve as pipes that transport gases between the spiracles and the tracheoles, whereas the thin wall tracheoles are thought to be the main sites of gas exchange with the tissues. Although trachea are not the primary respiratory organs for spiders, they give the spiders the chance to breathe and act more flexibly against their environmental constraints. The class hexapoda, insects and springtails, and myripoda, millipedes and centipedes, primarily breathe through trachea and spiracles. Worms like flatworms breathe through their skin. Gas exchange by direct diffusion across surface membranes is efficient for organisms less than 1 mm in diameter. In simple organisms, such as nadarians and flatworms, every cell in the body is close to the external environment. Their cells are kept moist so that gases diffuse quickly by direct diffusion. Flatworms are small, literally flatworms, which breathe through diffusion across the outer membrane. The flat shape of these organisms increases the surface area for diffusion, ensuring that each cell within the body is close to the outer membrane surface and has access to oxygen. Frogs breathe through their lungs on the surface and breathe through their skin underwater. They use simple diffusion into their capillaries when they breathe through their skin. This method of cuticle respiration is also used by the phylum porifera and other simple organisms. They breathe through their lungs similar to humans, which will be discussed later. Other classes like reptilia, snakes, lizards, turtles, crocodilians, and aves, birds, primarily use their lungs for respiration. Fish breathe through their gills. Gills are branching organs located on the side of fish heads that have many, many small blood vessels called capillaries. As the fish opens its mouth, water runs over the gills, and blood in the capillaries picks up oxygen that's dissolved in the water. Then the blood moves through the fish's body to deliver the oxygen, just like in humans. All bony fish also have a bony plate called an operculum, which opens and closes to protect the gills. Now we will be discussing the human respiratory system. Parts of the respiratory system and their functions. Nose, pull air from outside your body into your respiratory system and, in the process, remove any dust from it using small hairs and some pathogens using the mucous membrane. Sinuses, hollow areas between the bones in your head that help regulate the temperature and humidity of the air you inhale. Pharynx, throat, tube that delivers air from your mouth and nose to the trachea, windpipe. Trachea, passage connecting your throat and lungs. Bronchi, 
tubes at the bottom of your windpipe that connect into each lung? Bronchioles, small branches of the bronchial tubes that lead to the alveoli. Alveoli, tiny air sacs in the lungs where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. Capillaries, blood vessels in the alveoli walls that move oxygen and carbon dioxide. Lungs, two organs that facilitate in the diffusion of oxygen into your capillaries. They are divided into three lobes in the right lung and two in the left lung. MCQ time. Read the questions and choose the correct option. Only one of the following options is correct.